What's up, everybody? We are back. It is Saturday here in Denver, Colorado. We're in the, in the, in the famous office, and so that means it's pre-workout time. Um, just got done eating. Um, pretty sore from you know yesterday's workout. As you guys probably saw, you know we did uh, we did that big quad training day yesterday. So that video is already out um, in regards to relation to where we're at right now. And man, am I feeling it today? So last night was a lot of cramping up and and not much sleep because um, the legs did not allow it, but you know, we still gotta get it done. So we're here today, we're gonna do a push today. I'm gonna get some push training going. So it's been a while since you've seen one of those involving me. Um, thinking how I'm, how I'm setting that up is we're still doing chest first, starting with chest, probably three or four exercises, and then going to shoulders, three or four exercises. So um, if you've been kind of following me, you know, especially these last couple of months on social media, Instagram, whatever, uh, you've probably seen, you know, I did a comparison shot not too long ago. Um, and it's showing you how much I've actually been able to bring up my, especially my shoulders, I would say shoulders, arms and chest has always been strong, but that's how it came up too. So, you know, a lot of it was, you know, the focus and the, you know, the intensities in these push sessions, you know, putting them in the right place. Um, and like I said, it's once I decided to, you know, change my training is when I saw the most progress in my shoulders. So what I mean by that is. I've noticed a lot the last is this past week. There's a few Instagram videos. I'm not gonna name names or anything, but you know, it's people doing like hundred pound side raises. You know what I mean? Like, and in another, you know, so-called you know person that thinks they know what they're talking about, went into more explanation of how you should do, you know, these heavy, heavy side raises because of just the load in general. You know, the load is frying the CNS. It's creating growth just through the overload. Um, the side raises, the swings, whatever you call them. But I don't agree with that. So I'm gonna give you my opinion because this is my YouTube channel. I'm not going on Instagram talking shit today. I'm just gonna give you my opinion. My opinion is lowering the weight and controlling the movement. I used to, you know, work up to like 50, 45, 50, 55, 60 pound dumbbells, side raises like two years ago and I didn't even have shoulders. Like looking back on it, it's kind of funny to look at because I, I, that was what was lacking on me. Once I decided to lower the weight, so now I'm like 30, 35, 40, Maybe, I, I mean, I, I don't remember last time I went up to 40, probably 45 is the top. I'll go on dumbbell side raises. Um, once I started doing that is when I started seeing the growth. So it's more about, you know, taking your traps out of the movement, taking your body swing out of the movement, taking everything except for your shoulders out of the movement. So once I slowed everything down, you know, know what, you know, control what you're control the controllable and that you are, you know, isolating the, the, the muscle that is intended to be used. So you'll see that in all the movements I do. You know, I want you to use these exercises as well. Because I know this shit works, man. I've seen it, you know. I'm, a if anything, I'm my training partner, you know. It's, we're seeing these results. So I'm trying to share them to you guys. Um, so you guys can use it in your training as well. So today I'll show you some of that. The cues. Like I said, heavier. You see me go heavy on a lot of shit. But it's because I've, you know, spent years to get up to this point. Remember that. I've, you know, first you need to perfect form. And then you go up. And then you can build your way up through the weights. And then get to where you are today. So with that said... I get some pre-workout in um, today. I'm doing a little just blood shot. So two scoops of blood shot. That is Hostile's pump factor. I'm really like that. And then I'm doing the Intra R3, uh, about 50 grams worth of carbs there. Um, the good thing is we're having a little another high day today after you know we killed legs yesterday. So woke up a little bit lighter. We looked woke up looking really good. Um, we got some good pictures this morning. Um, so we're in a great great spot. So I'm ready to kill this. And then we're gonna watch some playoff football and life is good. Let's go. Okay, getting started with the push. So I said chest first. I like to get a lot of blood in the muscle first, of course. So we're starting with some incline flies. These are my favorite types of flies. It's just an incline cable fly. I just feel it so much in regards to not only the concentric, concentric and squeeze, but also the eccentric, the stretch at the bottom. Um, just a lot of control in this. So main focus of this exercise is to warm up and get blood in here. Then we'll go into a heavy press. But for now, let's see how heavy we can get and then do a nasty back off. That's heavy. Just doing a back off here on this back off. Let's go. Put down to 50, we're at 65 at the top, dropping down to 50. I'm gonna get as many perfect reps as I can for a true back off. Then let's drop it down to 30. And I'm gonna do some squeeze reps at the top. So 
50 as many as I can with perfect form. Then let's squeeze out, get as much blood in there as we can to finish it up. Good. Okay, going into our main uh, pressing movement here. So this is one of my favorites. Um, incline Smith press, so just you know, keep it through that upper chest on the vertical plane. Don't have to worry about the balance so much. Just press, just push the shit off your chest. Uh, how I'm setting this up, I've really been liking doing it super high. So pretty much, I mean not the top notch, but the highest incline you can on your, on your bench set up. So we're gonna hit a little bit of, um, obviously a little bit of interior delts, which is fine, because we're doing push. Um, but mainly just that thick upper chest here, you know, trying to target this upper overall. So I really like this because you can really get underneath it. Make sure your elbows are in to keep it in your chest and just press through it and just and just explode. So we'll see how high we can get here today. Um, the main thing is just, you know, know what we're working on, keep it in the, keep it in the chest, keep it in the delts, no triceps, and just execute. Here we go. Up, easy. Up. Oh, you. Up. Work, Brent. Let's get. Ooh. Ooh. That was good, man. Right in it. Yeah. Okay, so get a nice top set there. I felt really good about it. Now we're gonna do a back off. So I want to do a cluster set here. Um, as you guys have seen in all my workouts, I, especially leading to the prep, I like to work up to a top set, come to a back off. One I've been doing a lot lately. And since I've been on YouTube, it's cluster sets. So what that is, is I'm, so we're gonna do, I'm gonna do four reps, and I'm just gonna rack it. I'm gonna wait 10 seconds, go back into it, four reps, rack it, 10 seconds, four reps, rack it, 10 seconds, four reps. So there's four rounds of four reps. You do not touch the weight. You wanna pick a weight that you barely can get for like 15. I mean, you, or you probably barely only get for about 10 to 12, you're gonna do it straight. But then you use those quick breaks, those quick rests, to gather a little bit more oxygen and push you past failure. So I'm gonna go on my top there, I did three and a quarter. On this, I'm gonna do three plates. Um, it's gonna be really, really hard. I might, you know, might need a little assistance, but just get locked in here. Try to get to that 16 total reps. Use that oxygen to recover real quick and keep going. Oh shit. Let's go that way. <laughs> Stay in the air. Yep, I'm gonna do it. Go left, one, yep. two, three, up, here we go, up, good, up, yes sir, up, all you, come on, up, yep, oh shit, come on, here we go, come on big man, yep, here we go, come on, come on, up, up. yes, up, good, here we go. Come on. Come on. Put out. Let's go. Oh. 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 That was good. Okay, so we had good, two good movements already with mainly focused on the upper. So upper is fried right now, nice and pumped, exactly what we want. Um, now we're gonna go to this flat, fret, flat press machine. Um, this is a flex press. Um, probably the best press machine ever invented. Just in general, you know, every gym has some kind of flat press. So I just like to go to order, incline fly, super high incline on the Smith, or you know, you can do a barbell or a machine, then come and do a flat press and really slow it down, really feel the contraction. I'm already really full, so this is gonna be more about just rep execution and then throwing something together here at the end, like a drop off, a drop set or a back off or something like that. So 
Let's get after this to show you guys how it's done. Then we'll get into the shoulders. Okay, a little bonus tip here on, so on any, any flat press machine, anything that has a flat, you know, you're sitting with a flat board behind you, the seat. I am picturing myself, when I press, I'm picturing myself that I'm exploding through, and I'm trying to push my back through that back pad. I wanna, I wanna create so much force through the press that I push my back in that pad that I'm almost trying to break through it. Obviously, you're not going to, but that's what you think in your head. You're not kind of, kind of lunging forward at all. You're pressing back and through. So you're using your chest to explode through, pressing yourself through that back pad as hard as you can. Two, three, up. Let's go. Up. 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 Come on. There we go. Up. Two. Let's go. Up. Up. There we go. All right, doing a back off here. What I decide is, I just love this machine in regards to its plane of motion, its movement, you know, the, the contraction so much that I don't focus too much on any like drops here or any kind of back off with like in regards to, you know, rest pause, superset, things like that. Um, so what I'm gonna focus on is just slowing this movement down. So I like it so much, so we're just gonna do three back. So one, two, three, pause in the bottom, and one in the hole, and one through. So. So time under tension set here to finish this off. This thing is so nice that that's truly all you need. Just remember, keep your shoulders retracted down, you know, elbows down so you're in the chest, and just press in through the chest. Up. Up. Sir, one more. Come on. Let's go. Up. <clears throat> Perfect. Good. All right, so doing a little bonus finisher here for chest. Decided I wanted a little bit more volume in there. Um, so specifically focusing on detail here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, we're gonna do 10 high, I'm gonna call them high flies, medium flies, low flies. So that's just the angle where I'm flying at. So 10 high, 10 medium here, like a normal one and then 10 low where you're scooping and filling up the chest. So 30 total reps. Like I said, not too heavy, it's more about execution. Just make sure you're fully using the chest each round. 10 high, 10 medium, 10 low. A great, great finisher for your chest. Shoulders kicked off here, so make sure you're not neglecting any shoulder heads. We are front, back, and side. Starting here with some back, so rear delts. Um, this Prime Prime Fitness Pack Deck is the best rear delt machine I've ever used. So we're obviously sitting on it backwards, driving through. But I like to do these first, get a lot of blood in the, in the rear delts. Then we'll move into the sides and finish with a little bit of fronts. But the main thing here is, is that again, execution. I feel like rear delts are the hardest to connect with. I mean, they're also the most neglected by people, so I don't think people realize that you need to be doing your rear delts as much as your fronts, your sides, your rears are just going to cap off everything in your back. So I start with them always to make sure we get them out of the way, make sure we're doing them, get them out of the way, and then also that we're fresh, that we can really feel them and feel that blood going in the muscle and doing it correctly. So watch how we do it here and stay perfect. Okay, for a top set here, we're going to go a top weight, so I'm going to do on here 250 relative to what you have. For as many as I can, and then we're gonna drop it over half, so I'm gonna go down to 110, and focus on some stretches, squeezes in the back. So, all out set, heavy as I can, with good form, drop it down to something lighter, and then focus and control squeezes through the end. Come on, man. Sure. Uh. 
One more. Good. Yes, sir. Oh. Alright, so starting, so side raise, side lateral raises here. Going with the bread and butter. We gotta go to some seated dumbbell sides. I prefer seated over standing because, you know, it takes out your lower half. You're not swinging with the weights like we talked about earlier before we started. So this really just isolates. Just so make sure your body's not leaning back and forth. Um, what's good about this one is if you have a partner, you can really push past failure and get some extra there by supporting the elbows from behind. But just slow it down, like I said. We're going 30, 35, 40. That would be it. That's plenty. So higher volume, 15 to 20 reps. And uh, just focus on that squeeze in the shoulder head. Yep. 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 Two. Come on. Yep. Yep. Put your hand in my fist in my back like I was you. Yeah. Just so I, I don't do this, you know. Okay, moving on. So we just got done with the seated side laterals. Um, I immediately like to do another side lateral. So, like I said, I love a lot of volume on shoulder day, a lot of blood in the muscle. That's where I saw the most, gro most growth in my shoulders. So we're immediately going into this. I kind of rigged this up, started doing it just recently. Really like it. Um, you'll see it here, but it's just a cuff. So you're wearing cuffs, you got the cuffs on. So, you know, the reason for that is, you know, wearing cuffs on shoulder raises takes out your hands, takes out your, your wrist. So you can just focus more on your shoulders by driving your arm instead of worrying about a grip. So I really like using the cuffs with the cables and I added a little tweak to it by we have a pad on the backside. So it just matters if you have this set up. But what we're doing is we're leaning into the pad. So what this does is we're leaning in the pad. That way there's none of this. We can't use any body force. We can't move at all. So it's just leaning in the pad, driving through your shoulders. So if you notice what I like to do, it's very simple. Make your movements as hard as possible by putting your body in the right position to use the intended muscles. That's what, that's what you need to do with every single exercise. Make it as hard as you can by only using the muscles that you intend to use. Then that way you can you know, track everything precisely. All right, so see how I do this? If you have this set up, try it. If not, just stay straight up and down. You can put a bench in here. We've done it in the past where you stand leaning into a bench. So different things you can do with this. Just figure it out yourself. All right, so we're gonna do a finisher here. So we have smashed chests, gotten into our rear delts, the two of the side laterals, they're super pumped right now with the side lateral heads on the, on the delts. So to finish, we're gonna hit the front, so the interior delt, just specific work here. We already hit a lot of it with the presses, so when you do incline pressing, um, you hit a lot of the interior delt, but I wanna do a little specific work today. So what we're gonna do is, this is a little combo I like to do usually at the end, nasty pair here. Um, 
So we're gonna do plate twists. You can call them bus drivers, plate twists, whatever. Main thing is stay strict here. So we're going up. You're not you're not coming back and forward. You're just stay through the through the front delts. You're going right, left, middle, down. You can go left, right, whatever. Just pick a side. So turn, turn, middle, down, and then just keep it in that front delt the entire time. So it starts burning like crazy. Really good. Immediately when you get done that, we're coming over here. You're gonna just get an easy bar, and I call these just. Um, easy bar presses to the front delt. I don't know, you know, like I said, I kind of just created this myself. So get into it here and just press in through that front delt from here. Just a short movement overall. We're not leaning back to put the chest into it. We're just through that front delt. So it's just this motion, bring your head through when you go through. Um, just really, really good combo here. It's just something to really fry off those front delts. Because a lot of people don't put enough work into them, they just rely on their, their presses. Um, so let's finish up strong here and see what we're working with. Let's That's a wrap on push today. Overall, very solid session, especially after yesterday we had a crazy leg session last night. You know, so you know you got to know that the CNS is going to take a little bit of a hit there. So, you know, a little bit of a carryover, but fought through. Actually, it was really good. You know, strength was still there, solid. Um, as you have been seeing, and we'll continue to see leading into the show. I'm just. In the past, I've been more so like, you know, really focused on I can't lose any strength, you know, like that. And that's all I'm focused on in a prep. But, you know, right now it's just I've kind of flipped switch and that's probably just the maturity process as well um, is, you know, I'm much more in tune with, you know, the rep execution, you know, the feel, the pump. Um, overall, like I said, just making sure we're using the intended muscles. So all those exercises we did today, I was very specific on, you know, we, we got locked in there. We use what we need to with the upper chest, the full chest, the side laterals, you know, the rear delts, the front delts. So like I said, that's something you can do, you know, don't let your ego dictate everything when lifting. That's something I've learned over the years. So I kind of just want to pass that on. Um, you still can work up heavy, but you don't need, like, you know, you don't need to be like, I have to get four plates on this today, whatever, whatever. Ever. So that's something I am impressed with myself with. Um, you know, it shows my maturity as you know, as as the as the ego lifter that I once was. Um, but overall, you know, I'm very extremely happy. You know, we're looking good. Um, we're in this place. Of just going into physique wise, uh, I was 261 this morning, and I've been here for probably two three weeks. So. We, you know, we got to this point, we like, I pushed conditioning a little bit there. And what we noticed is I leaned out really quick. Um, so now it was, like I said, you know, in this previous video, it's about kind of just eating and still trying to, you know, almost trying to grow a little bit into this show. So that's what's been really good. I've been doing, you know, I'm still eating quite a bit. Um, and I'll kind of sh continue to let you guys know how the, how the nutrition's working when we do drops um, leading into the show. Um, but right now, and now that we have another high day today, so I need to go eat up the rest of tonight because I'm someone I need to prevent myself. We got to get ahead of it because we know, you know, especially Matt, he knows my body so well now. He knows when I'm going to have a drop, you know, based off my look in the morning. So I'll send him pics and he kind of realized that. We both kind of know it now too. So that's been really, co really cool as well as it shows you guys that, you know, when you're looking for a coach, you know, get a coach that you think you're going to be with long term. Um, that's the best decision I ever made was like working with Matt and then being not only working with Matt, but knowing and being with him in the long term. Because, you know, you don't have to start over with a new coach. You don't have to learn new things. It's, you know, now we're just continuing to, you know, understand my body together better. And we just keep progressing that much faster. So 
Anyways, besides that, everything is golden. Um, you know, love getting this content out to you. I think this is the four or five videos we've gotten done. Um, so continue to, you know, like I said, I need you guys to share this. Let's build this up. I want to get a lot of subscribers um, leading into that Arnold weekend. So I promise you I'll, I'll keep pumping out the content. You guys keep watching. You guys keep liking. You keep subscribing. Um, and, of course, like I said, keep sharing, spreading the word. Um, and we're going to be capturing a lot of cool moments. Again, thank you. You guys have a good rest of your day, wherever you're at. Train hard, eat up, and um, I'll see you next time.